This is our 530 winter storm update on Wednesday. A pair of low pressure systems yeah, bringing a rain snow mix to the area. For northern Minnesota, shifting over towards snow. For Wisconsin, east central Minnesota, and the UP stay towards rain for the moment. But that will change as the night goes on and the sun sets and temperatures go down. We're all looking at some snow from the twin low pressure systems that will keep us on the wet side through about 9 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. After that, higher pressure cells from Canada will take over the region. We could clear up towards a sunnier sky as early as Thursday afternoon, then hold on to dry conditions on the dry weekend. But this round of snow we're getting here tonight, what are the totals going to look like? This is my latest estimate, and I think that on the fringes we're not going to get that much. So much in northwestern Wisconsin, the UP, and northwestern Minnesota might be a trace of two inches or so. But in the center of the area, from Aiken to the Twin Ports up the North Shore, now it does indeed look like five to even ten inches coming across. So a lot of us will have some snow shovel to do Thursday morning, and then a break for the weekend because it will warm back up towards the 40s here, probably at least for Saturday, if not Sunday. Tonight, Minnesota, 100% chance for this rain snow. Low temps in the 20s to about 30. Getting a look at northern Wisconsin and the Upper Peninsula, low temps will be about 26 to 28 degrees, narrow range there. For tomorrow, we shake off the snow chance fairly early in the morning, and then for Wisconsin and UP, it becomes partly sunny with a high temp 40 to 44 degrees. And for Minnesotans, about 38 to 42 with partial sunshine as well. And like I mentioned, from Friday, we'll go towards mostly sunny, but the high temp then will only hit 30, which turns around towards 45 on Saturday with more sunshine. Will that last? Well, that last. You get a hint of how long it will stick around with the Fox Tech 7 day forecast that can be obtained for free on the CBS 3 evening news at 5, 6, and 10 p.m.